Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda from I Sew A Lot and I'm here today with an epic video about my Mammoth May makes. And uh, this month I actually made 21 items, which is crazy. And I think it is the most uh, for me that I've ever made as well. So, um, and I thought I would film it in my beautiful garden because that is also looking epic at the moment. If I can just uh, spin you around so you can have a look at my beautiful um, honeysuckle and jasmine at the moment. It's looking absolutely amazing. So, uh, there we go. Ooh. And that is my garden. So, Okay, so I thought it would be really nice to film it outside. Um, and I'm going to start with my first obsession, um, which um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know. Um, at the beginning of the month, I was absolutely obsessed with the Astoria. And this is my favourite one. Um, I did a, a quick um, one hour challenge on how to make it. Um, if you check back on my videos, then uh, that's also got a few tips on uh, neckbands and sewing with jersey and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yes, I made five, um, so I went a little bit crazy. Um, I'm just going to show you this one, although you've probably already seen it. And um, like I said in my previous video, um, I haven't adjusted. I'm just going to move you up a little bit. I haven't adjusted um, the length of it because I like it like that. Um, this fabric is, like I've said before, beautiful. It's from Satisfaction and it's their Pontaroma in the rose colourway, and I really, really love it. And I'm not just saying it, but honestly, this is the nicest Pontaroma I've ever used. Um, it was really, really lovely. So um, after this, I also managed to get hold of some beautiful um, cotton interlock jersey from uh, Moore's Fabric Finds, and these are from the Sidewalk Collection by um, uh, Ray um, from Made by Ray. She used to be Ray Ritchie, but she changed her name. Um, but yes, and this is beautiful. It's got sandals all over it, and I really love this one. And from the same collection. I also made this pencil um, version, it's called Art Class, the other one I think is called Fancy Steps um, and it's really really lovely. Uh, my pattern matching on these is not the best and let's be honest I'm not the best at pattern matching anyway so uh, yes. And then I also made um, and if you if you want to have a look at these on then they're on my Instagram feed so have a check there and I also made I had some leftover jersey from a molly dress some leftover pontaroma and it's like a minty green ro with rose print and this goes really fab with black because of the color of the roses I made that one and last but not least I also made which is inside out a navy one just plain, which is all twisted up. Just a plain navy one. And I've been wearing that with um, some high waisted skirts, which I have. Okay, so uh, then after those five, um, I also made the um, By Hand London Holly trousers from the Holly jumpsuit pattern. And I'm wearing those, as you've probably already seen, if I move back a bit so you can see better. They're a really wide leg and they uh, have a side fastening zip. I also made a, I don't know if you can see a cover button to go with it. And I really, really like them. I was after some Palazzo pants last year, but I didn't actually get around to making them. And then I got this wonderful fabric from Satisfaction. Uh, I think it's sold out now. Um, but she does have on her site lots and lots of other really really lovely rayons, viscose and um, yeah they're re it's really really nice, perfect for summer uh, they were really really quick, the only thing is my fabric was slightly narrow so I had to make it um, a bit narrower than the pattern called for but that was fine, I didn't have a problem with it at all, it was a really really easy make to be honest I didn't even look at the instructions because it's a really basic construction 
so I would recommend those and I have got my eye on making the actual jumpsuit um, with the um, I think it's got buttons down the front um, and I quite like the sh there's a short version as well I'm going to insert a picture of it here so you can see what it looks like but it's really really lovely so I'd like to make that then I also made um, like I said in my uh, previous plans video I also made some Oliver and S sunny day shorts for my boys out of this really nice um, jersey um, and it's a free pattern on the Oliver and S website and they are brilliant for kids patterns I always use those when I make things for my boys and I cut the straight size 6 and they were perfect I think I narrowed them slightly because the legs were quite narrow but yeah so I made two of those and while I was on the um, Oliver and S gig I also oops, I also made six t-shirts this month so I got some really really um, it was the um, school bus t-shirt pattern again I'm going to insert a picture here it's got two versions one with a, a short term um, sort of cat sleeve and a narrow neckband and one with a longer sleeve and a wider neckband so um, I first of all made the version with the cap sleeve as you can see and it's got a nice little narrow neckband um, from the sharp fabric that I got from eBay I think it was Flamingo Fabrics uh, really really cheap um, and really it was just a test run of the pattern again I think I made the size 6 and I didn't change anything on this version although because this fabric doesn't have a great amount of stretch it's got you know a, a quite an amount but not really that much the um, neck is quite tight so they have a little bit of trouble getting it over their heads so when I made the next ones which were from some absolutely amazing organic cotton jersey from Maud's Fabric Finds I think this one's actually my favourite um, and this is the front but it ha actually has something down it um, I made the longer sleeve version with the wider neckband and this was really beautiful I'd had my eye on it for a while but it's quite expensive and this one is in the same range I think it's birch fabrics and they're just lovely and I really like the fact that when you actually stretch it um, it goes a bit pale which I quite like because I think it gives it a bit of a vintagey um, like worn look which I really like actually and then um, I also from this from the uh, Ray Ritchie fabric the sidewalk collection for cloud nine I also got from Maud's fabric lines this shark fabric shark snake fabric and I made these the same with the um, deeper neckband and the longer sleeves and they fit perfectly so yes didn't make any adjustments but on these ones um, I just cut a smidge out of the neck hole opening just to make them a little bit um, easier to get on and off and I also did measure my own neck piece and because this fabric I knew from making my stories is really really stretchy um, I used a 70% um, measurement for my neckband for these. Um, yeah, and they turned out really, really good. And it's been all about the jersey this month. Um, I also, um, the same company as Oliver and S, the Liesel & Co, um, men's Metro Tee. And I've been saying I was going to make this for quite a few months, but I didn't get round to it. So this was from my husband, for my husband, and. Um, I'm going to try and insert a picture of him wearing it if I can, but um, yes, I made it from this fabric that I bought ages ago from Fabworks, I think they still have it in stock, and it is £5 a metre I think, and this took about a metre, so £5 t-shirt, I love it, not only when you can make things that are amazing and one of a kind, but also when they are cheaper than you could buy in the shop. Sometimes that's good. But yeah, it's a cotton interlock, so it's really, really soft. But again, it's got a really generous amount of stretch. And you have to be quite careful when you're handling it because um, because it is cotton, it doesn't have 
and it's a knit rather than having a like content it it's the way the fabric is woven once you've stretched it it doesn't have a great amount of recovery so you have to be quite careful when you're sewing it so yes he's really happy with it and he's worn it and um, I think I have mastered the neckband finally okay so the next couple of things we've got to get changed for so I'll be back in a minute okay so um, I also made excuse the ready-to-wear shirt um, which is a bit crumpled um, but I also made the um, jelly Eleanor pull-on jeans um, I was a bit unsure of um, what where, where the company came from in my last video and they are actually Canadian um, but the instructions are in French but they're also in English really really simple pattern I can show you I don't think you're going to be able to see the bottoms <laughs> but uh, yeah they've got an elasticated waistband they've got some uh, false pockets on the front and a false fly they've got some nice uh, pockets on the back um, and I made it from this really really lovely stretch denim which was in my um, past video um, from Fabric Time it was an absolute bargain I think it was 7 99 a metre and I think I've got two meters and I've probably got a good three quarters of a meter left so really really good um, I didn't really make any adjustments I was a bit worried when I was cutting them out the, the sizing is a bit weird I made a size R and um, it looked really really small but fortunately my um, fabric has um, a lot of stretch so it didn't really matter um, I also did a classic me um, and the same thing that happened with my Birkin flares um, I miscut the fly so yeah I decided I know I've just shown you that it's got a false fly but it hasn't because I decided not to sew it <laughs> so I just trimmed the fabric down to be honest I don't really understand why people put faux flies on trousers anyway because if you're using the same colour thread you're not going to see it <laughs> so I don't really understand unless you're using a contrast thread then yeah I get it but totally that I don't see the point of it because it's not a fly it's a faux fly so what's the point okay so um, it also gives you an option in the pattern to make it skinny um, I did take the legs in slightly but um, not a great deal because it quite lights them a little bit wider at the bottom um, and the only thing I did do before I made it I um, read quite a few blogs and people said that um, the waistband was a, quite wide so um, and a bit of gaping at the back so when I made it I actually sh it says, tells you to cut your elastic as the same length excuse the um, dishwasher anyway um, but I, it tells you to cut the elastic the same length as your waistband pieces um, but I actually stretched mine to make it so it was a bit more taut so it would then gather in and then when I attached my waistband to the trouser I actually stretched it and I've had as you can see I've got a perfect fit I'm really really pleased with it and I really like the fit round here I didn't have any um, crotch issues or anything and yeah I think they fit really nice I like the pockets the pockets are really easy to uh, put, get in position and everything yeah so I'll definitely make more but I think that you do need a fabric that has a, quite a decent amount of stretch to make them work okay so I've got to get changed again for the next one I'll be back in a minute okay so the next thing is uh, my sew over it oh sew over it um susie blouse yes and i've made it from this really really lovely um mustard peach skin i'll just stand back so you can uh, see and i have made this before i made a white cotton version <laughs> <laughs> you can just say hello. No, come on then. I say hello, hello. Um, I've made a white, um, not white, a pink cotton version, a Swiss dot version, and um, I really, really liked it. Um, but I do think, <laughs> I do think that uh, the peach skin actually works better. 
because it gives a really really nice crisp finish on the collar points which I really really like although the sleeves are harder to get in because like I said before peach skin has no give whatsoever so you can't even sort of ease it in very easily and it did take me a while to get these sleeves in but I'm really really pleased with how it turned out and it is perfect as you can see for wearing with my ultimate trousers total sew over at Fangirl um, and I have also, I went into my local fabric store and they had this um, in the reverse so the navy with mustard flamingos but they also had a pink pale pink sorry about that, my cat just decided to knock the camera over um, yeah they also had it in a pale pink with uh, really really light grey flamingos on which is really really nice so I had to get some of that as well and I have seen that on fabrics galore so if you're interested it's on there and I think this is on there as well. I'm not sure about the navy but this one is definitely on there. Okay, so uh, I've just got to get changed again so I can show you uh, my next two mate. Okay, uh, the next thing I made was uh, this beautiful sew over it silk cami. Um, I also made one in this beautiful uh, viscose. I'm not gonna put them, put them both on because you know, if you watch my videos, you've seen what they look like. Um, but this one, I think, is my favourite. And um, what I did when I made this was I lengthened it by an inch and a half because it is quite a short pattern, and I know it's supposed to be like that. But I wanted to wear it um, tucked out as well as tucked in. So, so my cat keeps trying to knock my camera over. Um, yeah, so I. Uh, the perils of filming outdoors. I um, yeah, I lengthened it by an inch and a half, and then what I did was because I am quite small, shoulder, top half. My length height is all in my legs, so my body's quite short. So um, the other ones I have, there's quite a lot of um, gape at the front and the back where the straps are quite long for my shoulders. So I actually took off. Um, I think I took off an inch from the front. Of the straps and an inch and a half from the back and sewed them together and it seems to have worked um, better although I always find with silk camis there's something a bit weird about the neckline now I've understitched it and I've pressed it to within an inch of its life but it still wants to flip out and I find myself messing around with it the whole time I'm wearing it but it's beautiful fabric and I really love it and uh, I've already got a few silk camis but I'm really glad that I've made a couple more for the summer because they're perfect. So lightweight at viscose, it's just lovely to wear in the um, summer because it's really, really cool. Okay, so um, I've got, hmm, I've got two more things to show you and I do have to get changed, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, so I also made, um, as part of the Sew uh, My Style Challenge, um, which I've spoken about in previous videos, um, it's being run by um, Alex Bartholomew of Bluebird Fabrics um, and it's a challenge that goes on throughout the whole year. Um, I also made the pocket skirt which is uh, part of the basics collection by um, the Calipay collection and I'll show you. I made it from a white viscous linen um, and it's got two big pockets on the front as you can see. And I did, I, I'm not sure <laughs> about this. Um, it's not really my style. I think I made it worse because I decided because it wasn't my style I wasn't going to spend a lot of time making it. So I um, omitted the zip. It's supposed to have a zip in the side and elastic around the back so the front is flat. But as you can see I just put elastic all the way around and it's obviously made it really really gathered. Um, I really like the pockets. I think they're a really nice feature and yeah but I'm not sure about the shape of it on me um, I don't think it's really that flattering um, and also I'm not sure about the linen because um, it just doesn't look really really white which I have a bit of an issue with white things they've got to be really white so I might dye it navy um, but yeah it's okay I probably will wear it but yeah it's not really um, for me I don't think so one more thing. Okay, so this is the last thing and it is the Named Patterns uh, Beatrix Skater Dress and I made this at the beginning of the month. It was a really, really, supposed to be a really, really easy sew um, but I modified it quite a bit and the neck, I really, really liked the neck 
there is one thing that named know how to do and that is turtlenecks and polo necks and I really really like that it's really quite racer style so a bit difficult to decide what kind of underwear to wear with it um, but what, if I just stand back and show you I think the main problem was my fabric choice because the uh, Pontaroma that I chose was, had quite a lot of structure, it's not very drapey so it kind of creates a bit more of an um, A-line silhouette than I would like um, but when I actually set it together I didn't like the shape of it at all so I um, moved the waistband up I think by probably about 5 inches to make it more Empire line which I really really like um, yeah and I did toy with the idea of taking the skirt in a bit to make it not so A-line and pokey out. Plus, you know, this race a bit. My old lady armpits. Don't really like it. Um, but yeah, um, I did think about taking the skirt in, but, you know, I'm only going to wear it to work. And I really like this bit. Really happy with that. And I have worn it, and to be honest, it is growing on me. It's not, um, not as bad as I first thought. But yeah, so that's it epic um, coming soon with um, plans for next month for June um, I've got a few things already planned but I'm not going to go crazy because I've had a bit of a crazy month just gone um, and also a haul because I've got a few fabrics also and yeah I've got an idea for another challenge so that might be coming up too so thanks for watching and click subscribe if uh, you want to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up if you liked it so thanks, bye!